Hello, people. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Today's May 2nd, 2010. Yeah, it's already May. Shocker. And today, I'm going to show you how to set default programs. Now, before I go any further, I just want to say that this is targeted to only beginning computer users who like are like noobs at this stuff. So, if I offended you with that comment, I'm sorry. And for you advanced computer users that are watching my videos, uh, click out this video now because this video is not for you. Okay, I'm going to show you to set your default programs uh, in Windows. So, what you want to do, if you're on XP or Vista, you want to go to Start and go to Control Panel and find something with default programs. If you're on uh, Windows 7, it's right here on your Start menu. Now, I'm going to set my default programs. It's going to scan your computer for all the programs that can have defaults. And let's just say, instead of Microsoft Office, that can open uh, DocX, OT ODT, RTF, or text files. I want WordPad to do this. So, set this program to default. If you don't want some files to do that, then you can check that. I'm going to close out of this, and let me get to a DocX that I have one, that I have, like, saved. Um, where is this? Like that. I'll just say Crusader you Journal. Know, uh, something I had to do for school. As you can see, it opens up in WordPad and not uh, Microsoft Office. Now, if you want to change that back, just do it again. But instead of choosing WordPad, choose Microsoft Office. If I could find it here. I'll do that later. Now, if you only want some file types to open up with another program, click Associate File Type or Protocol with the program. Um, click it. It's going to scan your computer for all the kinds of file types that are on your computer. It'll take a while. Okay. Now, here it is. Here's all the stuff. Wait, is this recording? Okay, great. It's recording. Alright, here's all the, the stuff. All the file types that I have on my computer. Let's just say I want... What do I have here? I have no idea what to choose. Let me. I, I'll just search for one. I'll just say XML. Oh wait, sorry. If you click back, then it's gonna reload. Let me go all the way to the bottom and find XML. Dot XML. All right, XML somewhere here. So it's taking this. So okay. It says it's a Safari document. I don't want it Safari document. I'm just going to say I want to open it in the XML editor in Microsoft Office. Click OK. And set it. Take a while. It's going to reload. You'll see some icons on your desktop like change and then go back to normal. All right, now that we got it, close out of that and get an XML file. I do not have any XML files with me right now, so I'm just going to create one. I'm just going to create, like, a random one. Uh, where's the text document? I know this isn't really how you're supposed to create an XML file, so let me just save this as an XML file. Open office, office open XML file. Click save. I'm gonna close that. Let me find that XML file. All right, all right, here it is. And it didn't do that. Well, just do that. It'll. I don't think I applied it, but that's how to do it for um, Windows users. Again, this was for beginners. If I bored you and you're in advanced, well, it's your fault you didn't click out of the video. I warned you about it, and peace out.